As more details emerge about the suspect's years-long history of violence, Canada's public safety minister is addressing questions about whether the country's parole system is working properly. According to parole documents obtained by the Canadian press, Miles Sanderson has 59 convictions for crimes, including assault and assault with a weapon, but he received a statutory release in August 2021. Tonight, Marco Mendicino said he is extremely concerned about what happened here and vowed the decision to release Sanderson will be reviewed. We do need to take a very uh, careful look as to what occurred in the situation and when, and as I said, I think we need to, uh, to be very transparent about that review. Uh, I am assured that the Parole Board of Canada will be undertaking an investigation of the decision. I think the process for review begins uh, there, but it certainly does not end at that point. And that's why, um, you know, at the appropriate time, we'll be, we will be putting our energies to make sure that this kind of tragedy does not occur again. Mendicino says right now the government's priority is supporting the families. The Canadian press reports Sanderson has been unlawfully at large since May.